And we're live! Four by five! Still going with that? Uh, <laughs> uh, so, uh, thought it was on the checklist. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was expecting it to happen, All so right. I was glad so, it happened. Well, then why didn't you join in? I, I don't know, I kind of froze up. I was like, do I do this too? Yes. Four by five! five! There. DJ Cruz Brothers in the house. <laughs> Um, so welcome, Diego, Sarah, <laughs> Sam. Welcome back. Maybe Kelly. <laughs> Maybe. Shit. Um, so I want to introduce everybody here. We got Charles over here. Howdy, howdy. I don't know, nobody knows where I'm pointing, but I'm pointing anyways. We got Rob the Robot. Hey. <laughs> Tom. So. <laughs> That's not how I sound, but yeah. <laughs> and uh, Napoleon. That's me over here on the right Good. of Tom, left of Rossi. Directly across from Charles. And since we have no video, let's just describe how it is. <laughs> so we're in my living room. And kitty corner to Rob. <laughs> and Rossi made the mistake of sitting on a bench rather than a chair, and he's going to have to deal with that for the rest of the show. <laughs> the funny thing is, I think he would have been fine with it, but now that it's like mentally... I know, like, I'm like, <laughs> messing with my back now. Oh. It's funny because as, as you came in before we started this... And he sat down. I was talking to everybody saying, oh, he's probably going to forget. Let's let's see if he actually gets the chair this time or if he sits right on the bench. Of course, he was talking, puts his shit down right on that bench. It sucks because yeah. this is like my side, so I have to remember. Like, <laughs> I have to be the only one to remember to like move it out and grab a chair. I guess you guys just sit down. That's not that hard. That's a very hard step. <laughs> sit in chair. Yeah, but like, <laughs> there's no second in step. A chair. <laughs> 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 Okay, well, <laughs> well, um, a few things we're going to talk about today, maybe. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, we're going to maybe, maybe get into Twin Peaks. Hey. Uh, for sure, we're going to talk about Game of Thrones. We'll hit that up for sure. Now we're not. Um, <laughs> a couple of us, or I think maybe one of us, has seen Warcraft. We're going to hit that briefly. Uh, briefly. We may talk about Rogue One and how Disney apparently didn't like it. Fuck. Um, <laughs> oh, 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 that's news to me. Okay. Well, we'll get into it. We'll get into it. Uh, Harold, <laughs> Harold J. Feathers, a.k.a. Michael Keaton playing the vulture. Yeah, Harold J. Feathers. <laughs> uh, sorry, I just, I don't, I'll shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm trying to <laughs> introduce <laughs> the show. <laughs> and the, oh, Harold J. Feathers, <laughs> bring it up. You know, let's not talk over, over each other, but oh! <laughs> you know, the guy that, like, talks about the most. Um... <laughs> Yeah, fuck it, right? Um, Superman on DC TV Universe? I snuck that in there yes, when you, you weren't looking. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, and then I guess we're going to talk about some e- E3 stuff. Um, God of War, Batman VC maybe. Um, Final Fantasy 15. Spider-Man game. And Justice 2. All Justice the stuff two. may happen. Most of it probably won't. <laughs> so, um, and definitely you? some Billy Zane. Billy Zane will for sure. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. See, it's visual uh, cues like this. Yeah, well, I feel like I can describe that one. Um, <laughs> for whatever reason, um, as I don't know if anybody knows that this, this, except for me, because I don't, eat, I don't have sugar and I have no fun. But uh, high chews are a big thing in this podcast. Everybody likes the high chews. And um, everybody, again, but me, has a uh, has a thing of high chews in front of them. For whatever reason, Napoleon decided to pick it up with his mouth, with the wrapper still on, <laughs> and uh, heavily distract me. So <laughs> it's so it's so tempting. It's sitting right here. I wanna I wanna eat them all, but then we're doing this real nice style. We're not talking over each other, and we're not eating candy while we go. So yeah, I fucked up. We're gonna hit the lock in the table. Pocket. Um, <laughs> You guys just want to start with E3 since we were just talking about that sort of. Yeah, I kind of feel like that. Seems like. And I think we'll probably, like, I think we'll try to end it with Game of Thrones. That's usually what we seem to end it with. Uh, we're gonna end it with Twin Peaks. Okay, whatever. We just skip Twin Peaks. Continue. <laughs> so E3. <laughs> <laughs> um, we all just kind of watched the God of War gameplay. Oh yeah. So, let's go around real quick. Just quick. Quick snippets, snippets. <laughs> what people thought. Um, Charles, it looks great. I, I was, I've always been a huge fan of the God of War series. This looks awesome. Uh, from what I understand, it's set in Norse mythology. Now, uh, looks like from the trailer oh. that uh, Kratos has a son. 
Uh, don't know what happened to the mother, who she is, for that matter. But it looks she, awesome. She obviously died during conception. It kind of looked like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, Shit. Well, Got no, him. she didn't die during conception because because uh, she gave birth. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, like she, he he asked him, "Did your mother teach you how to hunt?" So oh, something happened. Oh, um, oh. But it looks fucking awesome. They definitely changed the gameplay from like the typical hap- hack and slash hmm. it used to be. I, I'm sure it is still hack and slash, but looks awesome. I'm fucking no, dig dude, hard. Yes, it looks like it has more like. Like technical mechanics and just shoot the hack and slash. Yeah, it looks like it kind of immerses you a little bit more in that world. But did um, you? Um, but you like the other games, right? Oh, I love the other games. Yeah, I've never had a problem. I, I didn't play. He's like, you had a problem though. Like, you're like, <laughs> you're like, I'm, like, you're like I'm glad they're betting the hack and slash. That's the game. No, 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 no. That's no, that's not what I said. I, I said it, it. It looks like they're not going with the typical hack and slash. They're adding more to it. I'm sure it's still hack and slash in there. Yeah. But there's kind of more like a. Um, like an RPG kind of feel to it. I don't know if it actually is. I mean, we only saw a trailer, but um... great. Yeah, I didn't. Well, I, didn't <laughs> I mean, I had one more thought that I fucking forgot it, so I froze for a second. But I didn't play the prequel Ascension. That's the only one I didn't play. Uh, I don't at think all I, didn't, I don't think I played that either. I heard it wasn't very great, but well, I those know. were ports though too. So ports. I think they yeah, were. They're for, they were made the for the PSP. Oh, yeah, so I didn't know were, that. Okay. I like not real games. Um, <laughs> Tom has something to say here. What do you uh, well, the, the negative connotation on the hack and slash came from me because I just I didn't I, I was never really a fan of the old ones. I always wanted to be a fan because it looked cool visually, but I was just never a fan of that um, hack and slash. Yeah, just like the constant, you're just pressing a, 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 a or whatever it is, and then it's like your circle and just press it. And you see the same animation you've seen over and over. And, uh, and, you know, I just never bored. But this looks cool. I really like this kind of format of games where it's like the, the Dead Space or the the Resident Evil, like, kind of third person, like, over the shoulder mm-hmm. view. Mm-hmm. Like, I love that. It's, like, <coughs> kind of... It, looks looks good. Good. It, it makes for a good game because it has a lot of the, the kind of, like, I don't know, technical, like, combat styles and quick time events, like, mixed perfectly, usually, that I like. Um, now, I... Th- I th- the trailer looked really cool, or like the gameplay thing we watched looked, looked, looked really, really cool. I think I'll like it, but it is a little weird for me. Like at first, because like I was a huge fan of of the first three God of War games, and like I had no, I liked the hack and slash part of it. I, I, I really enjoyed that, so it's weird to me. It's like, why why would you change it if like it was already a, a successful way? Like that's the that is God of War, and yeah. now it's a completely different game. Like I'm still into it because it looks so cool, and I like the story and the mythology and all that. It's kind of weirded me out though from the initial trailer for me. I was like, I mean, where's my? Yeah, I see. Like, and your it, your combos were like all like big and fun. I don't know. It's like I, I like hack and slash because like I'm I'm like a I'm a simple gamer, so it's just like I want to like yeah one button and we just kill everybody and fuck it. So that's like sort of my take on it a little bit. I mean, it looks cool though, and I think I think I bet you when I start playing, it, I'll be into it. But it's just. I want my hack and slash. No, I get it. I, I'm I'm very like like when the series is awesome, you're like, cool. I want the next installment of it. But for some reason, game developers decide we're like, well, we need to like kind of like reinvigorate this franchise. Yeah, I think. Like, yeah, that's where like games are going, type of thing, and they're kind of following it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, but isn't like people have been like asking, where is game of like where is game of where is game of war? Game, game, of, game of war. <laughs> God of where, where is God of War four? Like nobody's asking for it to be revamped. They just want more of the same. I mean. I just, sometimes they just revamp shit when they don't even need to. Yeah. Well, like, okay, so they did a hack and slash when the PS4 first came out. What was that uh, Gladiator game that was fucking... Or was it Xbox? That yeah, was Xbox, Xbox. Xbox yeah. had that, that hack, Gladiator It wasn't hack and slash. It was very hack and slash. Did you, you play ran, it? Yes, you ran through like 50 dudes. Yeah, but it was and all... And you were cutting off arms. But it was, and, then it, and then it would do the slow motion and you go X, Y, B... It was, all, that sort of it was all like But it counter. was boring within the first five minutes. You didn't even need past the demo. It was all counter. Yeah. It was all it, it was, was all, all it was all horrible. It was like you have to hit X and So I like this more game is where you wander around and you adventure and like, you explore I, and you get points for discovering things yeah. and I, I like this better actually. I do, yeah, I agree. And and I, I also was never a fan of Kratos, and he kinda seems like he's less of a douche in this <laughs> in this gameplay that we've seen. You know, because we saw him get shot with an arrow, even though it's his son. I don't think he would have had a problem killing his son before if he shot him with an arrow. <laughs> he and did so kill like, his son before. Yeah, he killed, <laughs> he killed <laughs> his <laughs> wife. Somebody, like, looked at him bad, and he was like, ew, fucker. There was even some guy that was just, like, in a cage, right? Where he, like, he used the guy in the cage to, like, 
get to a different part of the level and then he just burned him for no reason, right? Was there some guy? Whatever. He's so, always doing stuff I think like it that. Is, he used a dude's entrails or something before. He's crazy. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt that. I, I can't confirm that, but I wouldn't deny it. <laughs> <laughs> he's just... I've always hated Kratos. And so he just seems like he's kind of cool or like it's a cooler adventure. Um, Rob, what you, what is, what's your take on it? Uh, I don't really... I hated the God of War games, so oh, Cruise Brothers on the hate yeah. wagon. Yeah. I always thought I always thought the story like that's their corporate car. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was so was just, just he's he's just punk and gods. I always hate what in in medians when they have a god and he's just just bitched easily because it's like are you a god? Because to me a god is like you can't touch them and they're always getting bitched. I know there was like the Pandora's box story, but whatever. But then. They kill Kratos, he goes to hell, he just climbs out of hell. So why aren't the gods climbing out of hell? Did you play the game? Yeah, I played... So uh, you hated them, but you, you, you played all three. I didn't play all three. I played the first one, and I didn't finish it, but I saw him crawl out of hell. I'm like, nope. Because he's killing all the gods. Why don't they just go to hell and climb out? Uh, and I just... You know, it just looked boring. It looked like, I don't know. I'm not, it's not my pick up of tea. Okay, well, we're done with Rob. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> well, yeah. Fuck it. I mean, you know. <laughs> what else to say there? <laughs> um, so, I mean, I'm looking forward to it. Nap's looking forward to it. Charles looking forward to it. I think Tom's sort of looking forward, I'm looking forward to it. And fuck Rob. <laughs> so, good, let's move on. Um, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> um, Gotta have that alternate perspective. Yeah, one, well, more, agree, one more thought. I agree with those points because, like, the first game was about like he needs to kill a god, so you have to go through all this shit just to get the power to be able to do that. It's like, oh shit, he can do it. And then after that, he's just like, eh, I can just kill fucking whoever. Well, he, he still has like lingering power of all. He that. does because I thought Zeus took it away, and that's why he wanted. He to does, but then he goes up. on a quest to like regain his power and stuff. In the third one, I thought he had like no power. No. Still... I don't think he has no power. I didn't actually nope. play the third one because that one was too. That one that was the jump to the PS3, I mm-hmm. believe, was the third one, and oh. it was too gross for me. Oh, because he was like he was he was gutting humans, smashing out eyeballs. That one was so good, and it was kind of it was kind of like I got the same reason I don't play the Mortal Kombat. It's just so like, if, if, it's oh, not, really? if he's not killing like <laughs> if you're not killing like imps or like fake things, it gets kind of too real for me. Oh, it's kind of, it kind of grosses me out. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so, so I like that in this one also oh, in the that, gameplay that trailer. Like a, like a, yeah, he's yeah. fighting something fake. Yeah, that helps me. Yeah, I mean, be prepared. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, like, like it could, it could he's open, it could open up with you know, fucking. Here's the Jedi Council. Kill all these small padawans. Yeah, yeah. all these. <laughs> At which point, yeah. I guess for every, every reason Rob said he didn't like it, I kind of liked it. Yeah, I love like I don't know like how like. He's killing gods. It was cool. I like. I mean, I get what you're saying because it's like, what's the idea of being a god? But fuck off. I don't know. I think it's dumb when he's on the the palm of a titan and the titan like squishes his like it squishes his (laughs) his freaking like in between his hands and then he's like pushing his hands up like what the fuck? Yeah, I get what you're saying a little bit, but it's like it's such like unique gameplay and like visual wise. Like, how many games you play? Is it unique? Or you know a lot of games where you're fighting a titan. Well, I know a lot of the games where you're... Where, like, like where visually shot. it looks that cool, and, like, like all the scenery, and, like, just the way the that lore, visually, the, lore, the way that yeah. game looks is just so amazing. Yeah, well, that's I, what's like, I mean, half of it, I just love that's what the, playing that that's game. That's feeling about it, yeah. It's, I mean, like, whatever. I mean, I mean the game plays... I like, I enjoy it, whatever the heck sucks, but, like, just the game is so fun, like, traveling through that game is yeah. so fun. Yeah. Because I'm all into, like, Greek mythology and stuff, yeah. so I thought it was fucking awesome. And you run into a lot of, like, Greek, I mean, um, mythology Yeah, you're like, oh, characters. I get that, you know. The you third one was cool because it had, it had, like, Hercules in it yeah. and stuff. I mean, it was... Yeah. And that's, what, and that's another thing that's awesome about the PS4 and the next gen of consoles is just how massive the worlds have gotten and how crazy just the world looks and how far a fight can actually take place. You well, know, the depth of the field is just well, amazing. Game, I mean, and, like, God damn it. And God of War was doing that at PS2. Yeah. I mean, PS2, they were already, like, they, doing, they like, had a huge depth. They really did. big depth. So it's like, they've always been doing it, so. Yeah. So now it's just good for them. Cooler looking. Moving on. Um, Spider-Man game? Did you, did you watch the trailer for that? Uh, Charles? I don't think I did. Okay. So you're out. Um, I don't know. I think that... I posted it. We did, right? So I feel like we watched it. Yeah, we did, right? Right. <laughs> we watched it, and um, it, it was cool. The only thing it, it 
the trailer that I got for Spider Man was much different than the trailer we got for God of War. Where God of War we got to see someone controlling it, going through actual gameplay. Where Spider Man was kind of a highlight reel of flip, flip, web, flip, <coughs> and that's great. That always sells me. I'm yeah. super into it, and I love the flips. Well, I hope it's not a little. <laughs> oh yeah, I did see it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there he is. <laughs> and I love the web slinging. Um, but it didn't give me like any hooks. Yeah, you know, yeah. something to really drag right. me it, in it and looks, say I'm excited it, for it. Yeah. It looks good, but I'm a little nervous. It's like in the Spider-Man games in the in the past, like the ones that have come out, have been like the actual control has been like a little too like mm-hmm. chaotic and jerky. Yeah, like it's almost too quick, but then you're just like like flipping around. It's like where it needs to be a little bit more grounded. Um, so I get a little nervous every time. Every time I see a Spider-Man game, even if it looks good, I'm like, ah, is it gonna be good though? Is it or is it gonna like is the control gonna be like way too crazy? So yeah. I get a little nervous about that, but like just the trailer they released, I'm excited for the game. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Like most Spider-Man games, it's like you just ha- they have the the like the vibe that they're not going to be good just because. So there's like that. Like I look forward to it just because I have that fantasy of wanting like a Arkham Knight version of Spider-Man. Totally I think, fucking cool. Totally. I think it, like he would work perfectly in one of oh, those yeah. kind of games with like the Spider Sense as a counter and then web slinging as the hooks and all that. So when I see that, I'm like, ooh. We're in the day and age where like a lot of things imitate the Arkham style, so maybe it'll kind of be like that. It didn't really look like that though. Yeah, no, but right. I didn't really. We didn't really see gameplay though. So, but but it's because of that that I get excited. Yeah, yeah. There's what you said, and it, like sometimes you can see a game and be like, the graphics kind of look a little choppy, and those looked good. It looked good. So yeah. I feel like, like, like when cheap. they look better, it doesn't. It looks like there's more effort into yeah. it. So, yeah, Rob. I mean, well, no, let me speak for you. Um, I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> I hated it, my job for it. I don't like swinging. <laughs> I played the first four Spider-Mans. Well, I played the first Spider-Man, and Spider-Man went into a wall, so I quit. <laughs> I played the first one, but I'm going to shit on all of them. <laughs> we, uh, we done having a good time, everybody. Uh, <laughs> You know, I'm cautiously, <laughs> I'm cautiously optimistic because we didn't see games. I haven't really been big on the past Spider-Man games. I always want to like Spider-Man games, and they always are just kind of. Besides, like that Spider-Man Two game that was like kind of good. The other ones have always just been. They haven't really delivered on the promise of like an exciting Spider-Man game. It's usually just you swing around and then you do boring combos on enemies, and you never really have good boss fights. I feel like so, you know, maybe. Maybe they'll shock us and do like an Arkham style. Did you ever play the PS uh, One Spider Man game? Yeah, I thought those were really good. Those were good at the, at time. the time. Yeah, they have time. I mean, you could, but you could perfect like what they did in that. Yeah, but they've never Spider Man games since. What are you doing? You've been doing this for like the past five minutes. Can you it's stop? a little disturbing. Lifting your shirt and your belly and like picking the lint out of your right, belly I got, button. I got a really bad sunburn like a couple weekends ago, and cool. I'm just, it's like really itchy, and I'm like, yeah, I hope it's not skin cancer. So I'm kind of like trying to look and see if it's skin okay. Cancer. Well, get back. To okay, well, you know, what? sorry, Rob. <laughs> I'm glad we can talk about his dermatitis. This, this ain't the melanoma <laughs> fucking podcast, man. Uh, I don't have to do it. So it's just you know, the, like there's been so many games, like you know, friend or foe, web of shadows that have just kind of been like, eh. So I'm 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 not really excited, but I'm not gonna shit on it. Yeah, I mean, until I, I see more. The reason I bring up those those. PlayStation Reserve one the game right to shit. is um, even though like the yeah. some of the gameplay would never make sense now, but like the, they kind of had that like cool. It felt like a comic book episode, kind of like mm-hmm. it, every story felt like a comic book kind of thing, and like there was like tons of boss fights. Yeah, like, every that was kind cool. of, every level you'd have it was like kind of a boss fight. And it was like big names. I remember like Scorpion, Rhino, yeah. that um, was fun. Mysterio. Like that, that's like what you want. That's why the Arkham games are also good because like. You get all the characters that you want. Well, that's the nice thing about Batman and Spider-Man. Their rogue gallery is just huge, so they lend themselves to a video game where you can have a fight, you have henchmen, mm-hmm. you have boss mm-hmm. fights, you, you mm-hmm. build yourself up to something. So. I will always get like initially excited for any type of superhero video game because it's like, for one, it feels like the easiest genre to make good games. I'm not, I'm not sure why it's so hard for them. Yeah. Now, I'm not a game maker, so fuck me, but <laughs> like. It seems like the easiest genre to do. Like you could do any style you almost want, and they'll be fun if you just have a quality story and just make the gameplay. Like we, 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 and we know what good gameplay is. We know what bad gameplay is. Why do we even make bad gameplay games? It's like what the fuck doesn't even exist? But <laughs> like whatever, you know. So. Well, just shit goes wrong. Like during like the because it's you know it's all like corporates have like people breathing down next. It's like well we haven't figured out this bug yet. It's like hey, we need it by Friday. That kind of shit. <laughs> yeah, that happens a lot. But um. 
basically, like, for me, like, to make a great game is, like, you need, like, epic boss fights. Mm-hmm. Like, if like, there's a game that, like, doesn't have that, and, like, you walk into, like, a lot of rooms, and it's just like, oh, like, clear this thing of enemies out over and over. Where it's all just putties? Yeah, where it's all just putties. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, like, a good, but, but, like, it works in games. It works in games. <laughs> no, but you, like, a good putty, putty. You, want a, you want the putty level, and then you want the, the boss at the end. Yeah, because it's something to talk about with your friends, where it's just like, it's like, oh, are you at the, oh, you should see Mr. Freeze. Yeah. You know, that kind of stuff. Yeah. I know you guys don't, about. you guys don't really do it, right? With the Arkham games, the solving the riddles. But I really like. Oh, I love that. I, I love that. That's my favorite. Yeah, that's the riddle that's, that's, that's my favorite so, part. I kind of hope they get that in there somehow, like just some good riddle quests. God, Arkham was such a good game. Well, it has like everything fucking in it. Everything fucking in it. No, 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 no. That's um for me. I guess my biggest thing with those kind of games is the app. I'm a real big atmosphere guy and exploration, so yeah. I like that. Right. I value that more over like mindless combat. And so when you play a lot of these superhero games, it's usually just, you're in a generic city that's really boring, and you're just fighting, like, you know, Thug 3, and you just repeatedly fight the same thugs, and maybe you'll get a boss fight. It's like, oh, cool, Scorpion. But if they did, like, the Arkham games did it, I, they're still generic thugs for the most part, but you, they had a, enough of the big names interspersed in there, and there was the exploration of the Riddler trophies and stuff like that that, that took away from just being mundane I for guess. certain characters though like how would you make how would you do that like you know like batman's easy i mean fuck you have gotham it's right mm-hmm. there but like say if you're gonna do an x-men game style like what, what, i mean how would you make each environment like super unique and like oh be able yeah, to X-Men's X-Men's easy yeah x-men's got a rich like they got X-Men's genosha got Savage Land, genosha you can go to space with you can go space there's like uh <coughs> snowy but they can go anywhere I think Excellent. you'd have to do something massive, like. Um, but would it be one character? Uh, what is character? the game Probably I'm thinking of? Uh, Just Cause, where that that takes place on an island, but it's a massive island, like a like a continent, and there's actual like travel for like five minutes to get to a certain place. The the X Men could do something like that. You go to Genosha Island, and it's a huge thing, and there's cities within that you have to look for stuff and. That would be pretty cool. I agree. Uh, the only thing that game makers seem to have a problem with with the open world type games that you're talking about is they never do enough. And I know it's probably really hard to do, but they never do enough to populate, like, or to make it worth exploring those. Because you, it's kind of like you just follow a waypoint, mm-hmm. but you never really can explore the city and find useful stuff. I mean, I know that's that's like a, a complaint for just one person, but it's always just like a big. A big island, but nothing really substantial is happening there besides just it's a big island you can traverse, you know. And at least with with Arkham, the Arkham games, Gotham was kind of similar to that, but you could find Riddler trophies or you could find, oh shit, here's like a, you know, a, a Zaz phone booth mission or you yeah, know, just something that could Easter take egg. an Easter egg, something that you could find worthwhile in the city instead of just being, well, this is a city. And you can't really go in any buildings or, you know, it's just... Yeah. Just yeah. Cause 3 had it, um, where you could find weapon pieces. To, that's the only way you can get unlock certain weapons and uh, uh, recordings. The recordings didn't make sense why they were spread out, but once you got them, it, they were funny to listen to, and then they unlocked other stuff within the game that you could only do by finding the recording. So, But yeah, I mean, it's getting better. Yeah. It's getting better. Oh, shit, I was going to say something. Yeah, please don't worry. You know, be silent about it too. Oh, sorry. Uh, fuck. <laughs> was, uh, was it about uh, Spider-Man? Ar- Arkham, Arkham Arkham games are like they're pretty they're perfect. It's almost like I want like every game to be like that with just different environments. But yeah. Um, yeah, it's like the fucking best game. It has everything fucking in it. Yeah, but like for something with like an X-Men game, like I always thought because you know I'm so like obsessed with the Avengers, like a game like that, like an Arkham style, but like you play different chapters of the story. Like, kind of how, like, the Mortal Kombat games are, like, Chapter 1, Johnny Cage, you play through him. Uh-huh. I think it'd be cool to be, like, like, well, this one's got, like, the espionage, like, Hawkeye level, where you do a lot of, like, the targeting stuff and combat, and then the other one's kind of got, like, flying Iron Man, where you gotta shoot the... I think that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, not really, shoot the... Well, I'm not really explaining it well, but, like, I always pictured, like, everyone has a different chapter, but then, like, the final chapter would be, like, different sections where it's, like, 
you can kind of like switch between characters. So it's like, like if you're like uh, Hawkeye, you need to like you're inside or whatever. It's like I can't get through this force field. Then it like switches to you're flying out Iron Man. It's like hold on, you gotta like shoot like three towers that like have a little thing, and then it opens up a force field for then you go in. And I mean, it seems out. like team games would always just. Like if it's a, done like an Arkham style, yeah, maybe. But I always feel like like Arkham style is always going to make more sense just for like one, mostly one character. But if you're playing it as one character in different levels, so you're not just confined to the, Arkham you City. You just have to figure out the story of why they're always separate. Like one of them will be in snowy Sokovia, one of them will. Yeah, be but like we, then you have to. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm sure you can figure it out, but you have to figure out a way to like have them separated. Why are we always separated? Because yeah. well, it's like yeah, but I mean that's. I guess. It'd be cool. I feel like if they did that, we'd be complaining, like, why are they always separated? No, but, like, that's what I'm saying. At the final (laughs) chapter, you get all together, and that's kind of, like, awesome because they're all together. Because that was one of my favorite parts about Arkham Knight was... A co-op one would be cool. When you're with... When you're fighting with, like, Robin, and you can just kind of, like, switch between, I want to be Robin, you can do whatever, because they're still doing their own thing, Mm -hmm. but then, like, eventually you can do, like, some, like, team KO move. So I think that'd be cool if it's, like... You're just fighting, like, you can play whatever character you want, but then switch over, because they're just being NPCs. Would you take, like, a new, like, good Ultimate Alliance? Fuck yeah. Fuck, uh, Ultimate Alliance 2 was supposed to be that's, fucking just as awesome. I, I still love that game. I mean, that's what I was going to say. Like, I mean, I, I feel like team team games are, are always going to be better as, like, Ultimate Alliance style. Just a better story. Yeah, I just, yeah, I like the graphics and more, and more and characters of Arkham Knight. But yeah, no, I, I agree. Like, Ultimate Alliance 2 was very tragic, in my opinion. Because it just took out like half the, the roster and put in like characters that, in my opinion, not really many that people care about. Mm-hmm. And then not only that, but it was a Civil War storyline, so it's like you could only play on like half of the side for half. That was weird. It was like, ugh. yeah, that was that was that was a really weird, like shitty part of the game. There was just something about it; it just didn't have the same magic. It was just like, mm. well, the other one was kind of fun too, because like almost like we described, like you went to way more. It was, like, way more boss fights, and, like, you went to, like, way more areas. I mean, even though, like, it seems, like, stupid, like, even, like, the Neymar part was, like, kind of cool. Yeah. You know, the arcade part was cool. I mean, it was, like, you just, it, it felt way more like a comic book, but this one was, like, eh, it's, like, sort of this, like, weird. It's in the city, breaking crates. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I always like arcade stuff, just because he, he makes it so it's not just a city, like, it's some fantastical yeah. place, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... So I always, I always like he always sets up like a trap. I'm a big guy, fan of like, like the Riddler and stuff. Where mm-hmm. it's like, oh, Yo, you got to solve this puzzle to get out of this trap and stuff like that. So I'm always like, let's yeah. just get past the trap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Every time in Uncharted Four, when I get to a fucking puzzle, I'm like, ah. God, those puzzles were so good. Uh, I love oh, Uncharted Four. You were trying. Uh, I need to put. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, uh, uh, I like the climbing and stuff for some reason. That was really cool too. They did it really good. It wasn't. It's. Obviously forced, but it's not. It doesn't feel forced. I'm like, I'm like towards, the, but I'm, I'm, I'm at the point where I'm like towards the end, where it's like, oh god, come on. Are you just doing the jumping thing? You're yeah. like not even making I'm it real. Just, yeah, just like because <laughs> you just like want to get to like where you need to go, and like you keep getting to spots where it's like, oh god, can't there just be a fucking ladder? <laughs> like what the fuck? We're like, is everything need to have fallen down? Like fuck me, okay? And then like you get to like. Like last night, I wanted to beat the game, but like I just didn't have like enough time, and I got to. Oh another, no, you don't. You think you do, and then it's like. And I got to another point where I was like, oh, another like another group of guys. I need to either sneak by or kill. It's like, fuck! I, feel like I can see the temple I need to fucking go to. I can see it. I don't know if I've gotten better or if this, they made the sneaking easier. They probably made the sneaking easier. But I got past that really, uh, way more fun. fights than I did in the fucking last one. The last one, it was just like, <laughs> let's go. Because I'm not sneaking by anything. Yeah. <laughs> I always try it first and some fucker sees me from yeah. the other side. I'm like, well, okay. Well, I guess we're gonna get like shot once, and then I'm like going. I did have a classic like Uncharted moment though last night. Um, it was like the first part, first time you like ever like got close to like the main bad guy. Like, I've killed how many people in the fucking game, and then you have the gun and you're like holding one girl, like this one bad girl, and like the bad guy's like, and he doesn't like. Kill. He's like, oh my god. He's like, he wouldn't kill like a person like that. Like. <laughs> I, I have murdered. killed probably 500 people already in this game. I walk up people and snap their fucking <laughs> neck. <laughs> like, brutally snap. <laughs> you know, you're just like, what the fuck? But I can't shoot this, like, clearly, like, 
super evil fucking guy who hired those poor henchmen. <laughs> you know, it's like, ah, like, that's, you know, I mean, it's like every game, it's like, they've been like that. It's like, it's so, con- it's such a dumb yeah. part of the game, like, for like, concept-wise to, like, get. It's like, yeah, it's like they let the, the, the worst of them live. Well, I've never even thought that was, like, that great of part of the game was, like, the shooting part. It's kind of like, no, that was like, yeah, you just, like, threw it in there, but it's like, I think, I, I, I don't think I ever really needed it. It's good, but it's, like, overdone. Just, I think, like, after a while, like, I always kind of get worn out at the end of games, which I, like, yeah. it's always, like, blasting through games, yeah. and it sucks, because it's, like, you don't want it to be over, but at the same time, you're, like, you, you can tell when you're getting close to, like, the fine, the end That's kind of what I'm talking about, And yeah. it's, like, once you open, like, a door, and it's, like, a hole, you're, like, oh, there's a whole other section? I felt like that was going to be the final boss. Fuck! Yeah. And you have to keep, like, shooting guys. I'm, like, I'm already shot guys. Yeah. I've already shot you. I get it. Those games are so fun visually, though, too. Oh, yeah. And... This, oh, yeah. this one's cool because it kind of went back to like the like the forest, mm-hmm. like kind of like the first first one, you know, because the other two got away from it a little bit, mm-hmm. which is great because you want more areas too. But it's kind of fun going back to the jungle. So. Yeah, so. driving through uh, what is it, Madagascar? Mm-hmm. It's just like well, yeah, you it's, it's it's so yeah. massive. Yeah, like how far you can see across, and and if you have your sniper rifle, you could. S- they've loaded the bad guys already. So far away, it's like it's yeah. so real looking. It's just amazing. Alrighty, so do we want to talk about that? Uh, what you think is a game? Uh, that Batman VC <laughs> VR VR. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I just heard about virtual it. I, reality. I don't know what it's about. You watch You're really the... solving a murder or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, yeah you, it's, apparently it's, you're solving Nightwing. You're solving murder. Dick Grayson's murder. He's dead? The ice? <laughs> they killed Nightwing? Why? Why? Maybe, maybe. I love Nightwing! Well, yeah, so like, you know how you know how VRs work, you know, you're, you're looking at a scene, and you can look left, you can look right, and <laughs> what it does, it, it loads you in, and you're looking over, I read, a, I read a description, that's why I have this better, you know, I don't describe shit good. <laughs> <laughs> you're looking over Dick Grayson's battered and broken body. Oh, okay, so oh. confirmed. <laughs> I was hoping he was just like out and he thought he was dead. Well, yeah, you know. Confirm kill. <laughs> it's it's a comic book. It could always be somebody else. <laughs> so in, are you, in, blood ra- are you in Bloodhaven? You're, you're looking at his uh, broken body and you you get those options like scan deep tissue mode, scan uh-huh. bone, scan for fingerprints, and you have you have to choose that. And once you choose that, it, it does the scanning for you. And then you choose... Um, Enlarge fingerprint, and then you, then you follow that clue to somewhere else and to the back computer, and it'll have you. It feels like you're in the back cave, but you're just sitting in one place. And so you never fight, never do any of that type of stuff. Not least. from the description I read. Oh, okay. That's kind of what I meant when I was like, "Yeah, it's cool." It's not like an Arkham game, but it's not a game. I mean, it's it's uh, a game, but it's not. It's not an Arkham game. It's not what I'm well, wanting. I mean, it's a brain I guess, Batman experience. I guess for virtual reality, yeah. it's probably the coolest thing they can come out with for me. But other, I mean, I don't. Really want to do that? <laughs> I, just, I like how you can look around. So it's like, here's the scene you're supposed to be paying attention to, and I'm like looking over, I'm like, ah, oh, there's, like, there's a bird over on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I can see that bird. It's like, focus, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Dick Grayson's dead because <laughs> you lack of attention. <laughs> like, what well, the moon is really full tonight. Uh. So I guess we'll come and see what it is for real, but. Yeah, I mean that's why I wasn't that excited about it. That's why I was kind of like, eh. I mean, I didn't know it was like that. Now I'm just like, eh, well, oh, it's not a game. game. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought it was gonna be like an Arkham that you just it's in VR, and I was like, yes, like yeah. how yeah, you get VR. All be into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that'd be great. Did yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's why it's like you guys are like, oh, it's as stupid. It's not a game. It's like why? But like I got limp, and I was like, what are you? What? What? The VR is new too. You gotta. It's like the Wii. You gotta get through all the gimmicky stuff first before you get. Yeah, and that's what I meant when you were like, "Oh man," be like, "What do you mean the Wii's not a real game?" It's like, well, because like, I, here's the thing. My question is, like, would you ever have? Would you rather? Would you ever prefer the game to come out on the Wii or the PS4? PS4. Would, would well, you? I have a PS4. So. I mean, does it matter? Like, if yeah. it's the same game. Yeah, it does. Though. No, it does matter because one, one of them you're playing the with a controller. Better? And one of them you're like swinging around like <laughs> yeah. One of them you had a well, no. I'm not talking about like that. Yeah, Red Dead Redemption. You're swinging a lasso. <laughs> you're like, can you do this? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, like that's what I mean. Like, would you ever prefer the game to come? Which platform would you prefer the game to come on? Well, I wouldn't care. But if so you would 
he wasn't the, doing the fucking lasso thing, like just playing with the control. That's like, what? Why does it matter? It yeah. depends. I mean, the Wii Xbox, U has PS4. a gamepad. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But the PS4 is a better processor. I don't processor. want their, it looks better. Well, I also don't want any. Like when I play the game, yeah, yeah. and if it's the same, whatever the. What, I don't want any chance for me to have to do this or anything. Like, I, like even if it's like you only do it on this one little part. Like, I don't even want to do that. And it actually pisses me off every once in a while when you get a PS4 game or a PS3 game. Because I was gonna say, the they want you to do it. You're like, introduce I'm like, them. Them. They do the six axes. They've gotten away from it. <laughs> fucking only time I ever liked it was Heavy Rain, and it was so infuriating. But that game was so good, so I put up with it. Yeah. Heavy Rain was awesome. Yeah, dude. They, they, did you see the E3 thing? They're making like a new, not Heavy no. Rain. Heavy but snow. Like, heavy <laughs> snow. I always wanted heavy snow. <laughs> <laughs> heavy sun. <laughs> Do all of them. Heavy wind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's get all of them. <laughs> if the end ends up being something different. It's a heavy storm. Yeah. <laughs> I think we just wrote something, guys. A heavy. Uh, <laughs> um, something. The makers of Heavy Rain are making a like another version, not, not Heavy Rain, but like another game like Heavy Rain. Perfect. But you're, you're going to be a robot in the future. Oh! Uh, yeah, that's wrong! <laughs> from, like, from what I got from it a little bit, it sounds like, not anywhere like near the store, but like, kind of like a Blade Runner type thing. Are you on Jupiter? <laughs> I don't think so, but you're like a robot detective. And you're, I don't know, I think you're, I think you're, you're uh, trying to solve that? like another robot murder or planet. something. But it looked really cool. I mean, just the idea of it like being Heavy Rain was like really cool. Yeah, that, too. I'm, that already I'm like in. Yeah, from that, that sounds great. From that description, like you're a robot, check. <laughs> <laughs> Blade Runner esque, check. Yeah. Wouldn't it be cool if they made like a Predator or an Aliens that's like Dead Space? Fuck yeah. That'd be fucking. Why don't they do like that? They should. That'd be like, really cool. You'd be like in the jungle, kind of like walking like wasn't that. Wasn't the Alien Covenant like Dead Space, where you have to have first conserve person, ammo? Which one? Alien Cub? Isn't that the one where you have to hide? Oh. Or I was a girl? Yeah, yeah. Nah, uh, well, Dead Space is more of... I didn't play Dead Space, so... Yeah. Dead wow. Space is more like... No, it's supposed to be Dead Space is more like Doom or something. Like, you're your first-person shooter, and you're, people are coming at you like crazy. Dead Space, Space. Or, yeah, Dead Space is like Resident Evil 4. Oh, yeah, he's third-person, huh? Yeah, third it's person. like that God of War uh, yeah. trailer. Yeah, it's, you're, but, more, you're more... But going, you can kill everything that comes at you. You can kill everything you, that you comes at you. Oh, okay. Everything okay. I mean, there's kind of yeah, no, limited no. stuff, but you, for the most part, you have what you need. Um, was that... Yeah, I think an Alien or a Predator game, you have to be weak. You have to be... Cons- well, oh, well, maybe it, not a Predator it, one. If it, you go, it, like, it you de- can kill putties or something. It depends. Yeah, because they have those, like, dogs. Those dog things in Predator. That Alien game was, like, you can't fight it <laughs> at all it was a hundred percent sneak like i want to be you can't and fight scary. the predator until the end well yeah yeah that alien game was like predators are coming out <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's like sticking up <laughs> <laughs> Not like that. yeah okay like, that's what I meant. I like, have that. but you like you're getting like you know you're getting like like the player the the, the character doesn't know but you as a player knows it's like the predator's kind of in the trees sending shit out booby traps and shit you got it yeah, I don't know. I don't know how you would make sustain a whole game like that. They did a really good one for the PC, uh, Alien vs. Predator 2, and it had three campaigns where you could be the Marine, the Alien, or the Predator. That was good? It was really good. I really yeah. liked it, especially the Marine, because if you play on the hardest difficulty, if you die, you restart the whole level. And I remember being in the Alien Hive, and I'm, my fucking radar is going, beep, beep. <laughs> and you don't know like one face hugger gets you you're dead and you're just like oh, I don't want to go back like 20 minutes like that's like real <laughs> dude you guys should try it. Yeah. Should, real fear you should try that <laughs> you should try that alien game I played dude like Is it, it was one? scarier than fuck dude. it sounds fun yeah, what was the name of it alien uh, I said isolation. covenant but isolation, isolation. That's dude it was word. scary as fuck dude anytime that fucking alien because they would do things so the alien would go into like the fuck like alien the movie Go like into the rafter type shit, and you every once in a while you'd be cruising because like you get to what you think is like safe area sometimes you're like, oh, and you're like cruising around, but you still kind of know, and then you'll hear it like, like fucking walk by, you're just like, ah, <laughs> like your fucking ass cheeks fucking cringe up, it's <laughs> like fuck, dude, fuck, fuck, <laughs> <laughs> and then it, it'll, you'll see it like drop down another area, you're just like, and it always has like the music like, Bap! you're just like. <laughs> <laughs> Like you get into, then you hide like in this little fucking like vent, but it can find you in there sometimes, which is fucking scary and fuck. So you, like a vent isn't just safe because it'll cruise by and you think you're cool and it'll come back. And like, oh my god, man, it fucking takes, rips you out. It is scary as fuck, dude. And then there's also other things. That, uh, there's like some robots in there too that of course turn on you. 
Um, <laughs> so you think you're think you're safe there, and they're like, you're, like, you're all walking within the fucking choke in shit. Fuck. What, what but you can't fight anything, huh? What platform? What it's, platform? it's on Xbox, Xbox One and PS4. And PS4. PS4? Fuck. Yeah. That, uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that, there's something about that radar, that pulsing. And yeah. it, you have that radar. <laughs> it's, it's such a good It's such a suspenseful, radar. especially when you're, if you just put yourself, it's an old game now. It's like, yeah. it was like late 90s or whatever, but it's like, it's like, and you're just like, oh, 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 yeah. and well, then they come running at you. You're like, oh, oh my God. That's what yeah. reminded me of it, because you have, yeah. that's like your, because <laughs> you don't have a weapon. That's like, it's a great radar yeah. you get around. for horror. Yeah. It's a horrible yeah. radar. If you think about all the advanced oh, yeah. technology, you're like, what am I looking at here? This is useless. <laughs> yeah. And, Why yeah, that, I know there's something here. <laughs> yeah, it's literally like a, you're like, holy shit radar. Like, oh, 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 oh. It's, it's, it's in the room with it. us. Yeah. Where is it, man? Yeah. It could be like three levels I'm above. The table. Yeah. It was all the time. It was like, <laughs> game over, man. All the time. Um, I do want to just, the, I was going to agree with the motion controls, just bringing that back. Uh, did you guys ever play like Metroid Prime? Anybody? No. That one was really good for motion controls. Like you actually move the 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 gun. It's like with the control. You guys are, obviously aren't into it. But <laughs> I, 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 I was into 1985 Metroid. I mean that's still good, <laughs> but it's like that's. I was gonna agree with the motion controls. That I would rather do that, but that was so much more enhanced. I feel with the motion controls. Uh-huh. And you could actually like turn shit. Like it, it, it added a little something. I thought. Good. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like the idea of them. I do. I really. I like the idea of uh, undoing riddles and stuff with it, and doing combinations and stuff. I hate the fact you have to hold a giant dildo to do it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm about giant, but. <laughs> have you held the PS3 one? I haven't held the PS3. Oh, you gotta fucking. You gotta have some D batteries. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just glad it hasn't really like caught on that much, because they all like kind of start doing it when like the Wii came out because people were buying it. But it's like they haven't like forced that many games to do shit with it. So well, what sucked with the Wii is like just like every game with it was the same, and you could you didn't even really have to do the motions that it was like asking you to. Like I could just like have it like bouncing on my knee, and it like does like the the same effect. Like the, and the, the Wii just came out with like you. I remember looking in like the aisles, like what Wii game can I buy? And it's just like Carnival Games Volume Two, Carnival yeah. Games Volume Three. And yeah. you like look at the back of the box, like, oh, what's in Volume Three? It's just like throw the dart, swing <laughs> the golf club. I remember, I, like, uh, I, you, I remember because you were so invested in the Wii, kind of. Yeah, I, was so I remember you being fucking excited <laughs> for <laughs> Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. <laughs> I was. Well, because that was <laughs> that was at the time the first time that Sega and, and Nintendo yeah. like they were in the same game together, yeah. and I was like I was excited about that aspect, and I was like, "Ooh, it looks like it'll be fun," and it wasn't. <laughs> I just remember you like like oh Mario Sonic at the Olympic Games is coming out like. Okay. God, I remember stopping. Cool. Do you remember how many Best Buy had? That was the Winter Games by the time you were there. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah the Olympic Games was pre you. It, it, yeah, it was stocked. It was, it was like it took up three rows in the it's aisle. The summer of two thousand eight, and, and then it was, and then it was up in the cage, just a whole <laughs> four by four cage, just full of Sonics, and it was just like. Every day, more Sonics going into the cage. <laughs> Sonic at the winter. And, like who? Who's picking these up? <laughs> I'm who one best buy. Sell this much? <laughs> I'm one best buy. Why do I have a million Sonic and Mario at the Winter Games? <laughs> oh, good times, man. Um, all right, um, and then sending them back. Yeah. <laughs> So is that it for E3 that we were excited about? Uh, Did you want to talk uh, Final Fantasy 15? Mm. It's actually I never played it's funny. Yeah, I, didn't play I love them. I love all the Final Fantasies. <coughs> I, I played the online ones with the subscriptions. I don't. They look amazing. The stories are fun. Um, I don't care, you know, about what some people say are negatives. Like they repeat names. It's like, well, there's 15 of these games. I'm sorry. Names are gonna repeat. Names repeat in this fucking world. Yeah, who cares? Yeah. Gonna stop bitching. <laughs> Um, that's a that's a that's one of the point. bitches I hear. It's like oh I can't play it because it's the same thing over and over again. I'm like no man, you need to play them. They're different. Now is 15 an MMO or is it a traditional one? So <laughs> I'm watching the trailer right, and I'm like man, I can't wait to. I don't even know if I want to like. I don't even need any gameplay. They should just make a movie. It's a movie, <laughs> and I got a little sad. I was like 
Well, I wanted to play a little. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so it's, it's only a movie? It's, it's, just, it's a, a movie. movie. It's an animated movie. It's a two-hour-long animated movie. It looks amazing. Oh, what the f- they got Cersei. They got Ned Stark. Um, what? They, they got big actors. Oh, the Telltale oh. games for Game of Thrones, you mean? No. No. Oh. But thanks for paying attention. <laughs> 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 So wait, Final Fantasy C- fifteen is just a movie. Yeah. Wow. I don't like it. So it's not even a game? No. <laughs> not that I could tell. Not from what I got. It's just a, it's oh, just wow. this is it's just gonna be an animated uh, feature film. That's bullshit. All right, we'll move on. Should name it fifteen and then should name it Advent I, Children. If too. we had more time, I would have shown you guys the trailer beforehand. It's just sick, and the fact they get I love that it's such a big deal that they get big actors. Mm-hmm. They get it's and it looks yeah, looks I never, amazing. I never played them, so like I, I think it's gonna be a good fucking movie. I, I have a hard time and, like caring. And it sets place in fucking a mystical <laughs> a mystical world with fucking <laughs> hobbitses and fucking knights and shit. You're gonna fucking be in you faggots. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck, I did it. Oh, I, uh, maps. See, I liked Final Fantasy up until. This one was going up raw anyway. Eleven. <laughs> yeah, oh, so? so like you could and be saying it would have edited. I didn't even really like ten that much. I didn't really like eight actually, but <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like anyway, two. Uh, <laughs> There's seven and three. I liked seven. I liked four. I liked six. That's and it. I guess that's it. So yeah, nobody likes five. Five was stupid. Um, I played one one time and I couldn't figure out how to save, and I was like, oh. My God. <laughs> <laughs> but they do. They're they're these like really in depth. Interactive stories, and um, I just when thirteen came out, I was kind of like rejuvenating. I was like, "Oh, thirteen and then thirteen ended up just being really boring. It was just like that really linear like gameplay, and then fourteen's an MMO, and I I haven't really been in MMOs so. Fourteen was so good. Sam actually played <laughs> while she was pregnant on bed rest. She was so into it. She maxed out a fucking white mage. It was. It was it was really good, yeah. And you, I mean, I get you have to spend, you have to donate some life to it, but eh, it's worth it. They're super entertaining. Well, I was I was big in MMOs back in like early two thousands, but I haven't like touched one since City of Heroes was the last one I played, and that one was really good. Yeah. I don't know if nobody ever. Was it a DC thing? No, it was um, um, NC Soft or whatever, and you made your own superhero and you'd go around it. There was none of that like World of Warcraft like crafting or all that. Was you that- just Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No. Was that the free one? No. No. Oh, okay. The DC Universe. They did a DC one. Oh, okay. it was That's really cool. shitty. This one oh, is really weird. cool. It came out. For... Shut up, Tom. <laughs> What, 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 how many good Marvel games are no, there? I don't. I'm just saying that it's weird that it's like it's a shitty MMO because they they're always like they're, they're like this. They're all kind of the same format, so it's like wow. I don't know, man. It was terrible though, and th- that's the reason actually they relaunched it though, so it might be better now. Oh, really? That, well, that's the reason they made it free though. Originally, it was supposed to be paid, but it was like so bad. I was like, oh, I gotta give this thing away for free. But like, what makes it bad? Just like it's just crashes or a lot of I mean, you know, maybe like free it. and maybe yeah. I don't really play a lot. I've never really played MMO, so maybe I just like didn't understand the gameplay enough but it was just like it was a stupid concept to me like what the game was you create your own superhero but then like everybody in the world is a superhero yeah and it's like what is this stupid superhero world I live in it's just like <laughs> what's that's, the point of being a superhero if we're all fucking superheroes that's like, city of heroes yeah but it was kind of, well you <laughs> it, it's cool though because you can you team up with other heroes and then you go on like they call them task force it's basically like a raid in World of Warcraft and you go fight a super villain yeah, but see, I feel like that MMOs make sense for like World of Warcraft and stuff like that. Cause, like the idea, like it's a fantasy land, and you guys—that's the world. But it's like we're all superheroes. I mean, no, there's you, a million if you, superheroes. If you Marvel played in New York City, City of Heroes, you like it's it'd be cool. Like if you actually played it and like had the time, you had the computer, you're, you're like character, the big strong guy. We could all <laughs> be playing online, kind of like how we did Grand Theft Auto. But like, all right, let's go take this boss out. And it's like, Rossi, we need you with the brute force, and I'd like, like heal you, like, like that yeah, okay. shit, you know. It'd I got cool. you. It was cool, I and mean, you know, like I didn't do it. Well, it it's yeah. not up, it's not up anymore. That's the problem. You can get DCU online. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know if DC, is DCU good though. Like I haven't heard anybody ever talk about it. We just I don't know. I'm out of the MMO <laughs> thing because I just don't have the time. No, it's not good. It. Yeah, they take it's a lot good. of they take time, and I, I know that's not a. a, a widely uh, available commodity for a lot of Hop people. in for 15 minutes. Guys, I'm here. What are we doing? Yeah. Well, I ain't got time for that. <laughs> <laughs> Those are very much like youth games. I think. Yeah, I think so too. I couldn't. Or not having a life. Or not having a life. 
Like, you just come home from work. And so, any losers listening to this who play the most? you're a loser. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you not like our fans? <laughs> Does Diego play MMOs? People I don't think so, but like, why do you have to? Is oh, Diego got one? Is Diego a loser? <laughs> okay, it's falling off. Comment <laughs> in the comments if you're a loser or why you're not a loser. <laughs> any uh, any other games on there? Or are we moving to? I think we're moving on to some games. Injustice oh, Two, no. Injustice Two. Injustice Two. That looks game? awesome. Uh, I like the trailer. I think it, Injustice Two is a quick one. It looked cool. Yeah, look good. Yeah, you uh, happy was, that? Um, with the characters they have so far, yeah, I really I, I saw like the one like quick release trailer. Like, who have they announced like more characters? Gorilla Grodd. Who? That's cool. Um, I don't know who Gorilla Grodd is. He's flash the girl that talks with like the gold. He's like, a Flash villain. Okay. Uh, Maybe if I saw him. Astrocytus, I guess the Red Lantern, right? Oh, yeah. that looks awesome! Yeah, I saw him. Um, I think Supergirl looks cool. Supergirl, I I think she's redundant because you already have Superman. Eh. You hate women, Rob. Yeah, I don't hate women. Yeah, <laughs> I don't hate women, but it's there's so many other dude. There's so many other women superheroes you could put in besides Supergirl. You could put yeah, in but every time you play, girl. I'm just just to argue it. Superman always, always plays amazing. kind of a brute, um, and they could make Supergirl more of a speedy character. Yeah, but they didn't. They like <laughs> they could. <laughs> she's literally. I've seen her gameplay. She's Superman, oh. like just oh, yeah. a girl. Whatever. She's got boobs. I mean, that's always kind of more fun. Poison Ivy, Star Sapphire, Star. Right, Fire, but now whatever. you could play Superman with boobs. Star Sapphire. You could do it, but she's not in it yet. So, but I boobs, think, Rob. Whatever, <laughs> Superman. He's Luke, a, boobs. <laughs> boob, boob, boob. But I'm giving you, I'm yeah. giving you other. What's boob the code options. for boob? I'm giving you other boob <laughs> options. It doesn't have to be Supergirl. It but I want other. a flying, super strong boob. Okay. All right, who else are they? <laughs> Wonder Woman. <laughs> who else are they announced? That just Aquaman, Batman, Superman. Who's All the same from last Flash. Flash. Flash, yeah, they haven't. Sh- he wasn't shown off in uh, the gameplay, but mm-hmm. Black Manta is only a stage transition. I don't know if you care. If anyone cares about that, kind of bugged me. Personally, I don't like the way this Aquaman's model looks versus how it used to. Yeah, I like that he looks a lot cooler. This one kind of looks more like the. Skippy bitch. They didn't bring back Lobo? Not yet. I mean, they, <laughs> they haven't released. Really I know. They had, to, they had to pay for Lobo. Lobo. <laughs> Marshall I Man, did. I'm sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, you had to pay uh, for, for Marshall Manhunter. I, I, I don't think I ever um, played it with Marshall Manhunter. Cause I just, the like, game was fun as fuck. Because I had uh, yeah. the season pass, so I went back. Oh, yeah. And then, and then did them real quick and then turned it right back the off. The season pass thing, man, kills some, certain games. Like, I think fighting games, like, it just doesn't work when you're releasing one character like so. Like, like yeah. the Mortal Kombat thing. I think I got the season pass for the last Mortal Kombat game, and I st- I'm not sure I even went back and got the final <laughs> like release characters. I was just like so done with the. Game. I mean, I had a, a fucking blast playing it when I first got it, but it's like I, I can't go back and play one story campaign or not even story. Campaign, I can't just one ladder thing just so I can see their one ending. I'm just over it. Yeah. I was so excited when they uh, initially released Predator. But by the time he was released, I just like didn't care, and it was a, it's a big bummer for me because like part of it when the characters are released and they're in the game, it's really fun because you get to play them in the ladder, so you get to face them in the ladder as well. And it's yeah. like when they're not there, when you're playing fucking twenty five other characters, the ladder mode, and they're not there to fight every once in a while, it takes it out of it for me. I think yeah. fucking DLC is like yeah. overall, I think kind of not hurt. I mean, the game the gaming industry is obviously great, but it, it's I don't think it. Ad- I don't think it helps the gaming industry. I mean, it helps maybe them, but it helps them. It's not a good for the. But the, even for, for the though. customer, it's not a good, yeah. like path. That just it's I'll pay all of it now. Yeah. Like I don't care. It's not even that. They just need to make. I agree with you 100 percent because there's so many games where they do the season pass, and I won't like even games I liked. Like I won't go back because the DLC they add don't even. It doesn't add really anything. It'll be like oh. Yeah. Like the Batman Arkham ones were just it's like an hour of play. Yeah, but it's yeah, yeah. it's like you, you, you don't even really need the, Yeah, you, you kind of got your fill of Batman Arkham 
whatever entry, and then they oh, but come back in a month and play. It's like yeah, but that wasn't you have to like, like remember. You need to remember how to play. Well, and play yeah. kind of. Yeah. By the time you get the groove of it, it's over. It's fucking over. Yeah. yeah. But if they like, I know back in the day, like if they released like a like for Goldeneye or something. Oh, like the new Goldeneye like multiplayer pack. I'd be all in for that. But now it's just they don't feel like they're ever worth it. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, yeah, yeah. Going back to the fighting game ones, like. I was always excited for the Mortal Kombat DLC, and like, like I kind of forgot how to play or do combos by the time I got one. So you'd play, you'd be like, yeah. okay, this is his fatality, oh, this is his thing. That would have been cool, maybe I, he would have been a character I would have been good with, but that's about it. Like, yeah, you, you play it one time, cause he's not I'm like, not going to learn him now. The only know? like DLCs that make, the DLCs that make the most sense are like, games like, um... Like Call of Duty, when you you just you play online no matter fucking what every day of your fucking life, and then eventually they released more maps. That's probably great for people. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's the only I think that's the the best the way DLC works is for those for those because yeah. those games like people fucking still play those for fucking years. They need to though. They need to fix. I, it's a big issue, but they need to not charge twenty dollars for a map pack, and it's. They yeah. have more maps too. It's always they always like launch games now with like the bare minimum because they know they're gonna put DLCs. It's so you, stupid, right? Like, yeah. yeah. Like Star Wars Battlefront. I don't know if you, any of you guys played that. Mm-hmm. They like released. They only released the game with four planets, right? Uh-huh. And yeah. they're releasing Bespin, I guess, uh, which I was all happy for. But they're releasing it uh, in like this month or something, and they're adding like Lando and. But they didn't. They didn't have them at the beginning, so you had to wait all this time. Just to get land, and it's like you you've already you've city. already played so much and accomplished so much, it's hard to like want to go back and care about the fucking DLC. Yeah, I mean, I hate DLC. I waited, so I just recently <laughs> I went too. went back and like played all the Arkham Knight DLCs mm-hmm. since they'd all been released. So like you know, it ended up being more gameplay. But if I would have been playing them like one at a fucking time when they yeah. released, it would have been stupid, and it was still kind of stupid. But I still was just like I was like in an Arkham kind of like I wanted like more. Yeah. So I did play them and like the one the, there was one that was good because they had one where they released like I think it was three like new bad guys in Arkham. So it wasn't like just like a side side thing. They had like a, oh. a Mister Freeze plot and a oh. Mad Hatter plot. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have to go back now. Ah oh, shit. And a yeah. Killer, now I'll and go a, back and play. And a Killer Croc like plot. Were they good though? They were they... actually pretty good. They were short. They were kind of short though. But like at least you get four of them. So and you're in. Are, you're still Batman. It feels like it feels like more like it's part of the game, opposed to like the other DLCs where it's like you're a Robin, and it's actually pretty cool, and it's before. And you're like, okay. Are you talking <laughs> yeah. about the? Yeah. I remember this one that was like the Harley one. It was, I think yeah. the Harley. Yeah, City. yeah the that was one. such a waste of time. It was a waste of time. The way and that one was a waste of time, and the Red Hood one was kind of a waste of time too. Yeah, both I those were kind of dumb. Hood one. Actually, all of those were kind of dumb. Those were a waste yeah. of time. The Red Nightwing Hood one, one was kind of cool. Yeah, but. I like that was it. I just got a prequel of it. I didn't get any more use out of it. Oh, there's a Ray Jal Ghul. They released the Ray Jal Ghul one too. What? Oh, yeah. It's stupid too because they always like reuse the assets. They did a Dead Space one, Dead Space Three, where they added like because they ended it like shittily. Spoilers. Uh, <laughs> but then they there was like a story thing, but it was just the same levels. You just went in like reverse. Like, you know, it's just like, so they just like milked the same shit. It didn't really add anything. Yeah. And it, ended, yeah. it actually ended worse than when they ended it. <laughs> I think games like Borderlands benefit from DLC, though. If they make the DLC big enough, because... Yeah, because they make theirs big. Because they make theirs big, because I remember I was done playing Borderlands 1. Like, I was completely done. And then they had that General Nox's Secret Armory come out. And it was like a whole different section. It was a whole, like, a lot, and they raised the level cap probably like... Ten levels. You, it's not like you were just like, oh, whatever. There's still more to do, and you can do more yeah, stuff. It worked better. Work, with and there was new like, enemies and everything, so it was like it felt. It, it, I was like, oh, look, I'm fucking playing again. It kind of works for like games like that where you, le- where yeah. you level yeah. up. Where, not like story based. I guess that's kind of what I was even saying with Call of Duty because then usually when there's a release, yeah. then your level caps higher, right? Yeah, I just wish they would. It's harder for mission based games where it's like, yeah, cool, great, you yeah. added one fucking level okay, yeah. right, that uh-huh. I made fucking ten dollars for. Yeah, I just Fuck. wish they would add more. I wish they would add more to the game when it comes out too. Yeah. Cause like Halo Four ship with like six maps. It's like, wow, thanks guys, and they charge you like twenty dollars for like three more. And That's like, such bullshit. It's I bullshit. fucking hate when they like the DLC. It, it's like. To get the complete game, you have to fucking down, uh, get yeah. the DLC, which is bullshit. It's just like, release the game. 
Yeah. Well, this game they, DLC add to well, it. Even they do release it. Yeah. Like the year end edition with all the DLC for the same price as when you bought the game. So if you would have yeah. just waited a year. That's, that's what like, I did with the Justice. Yeah. So I got all the characters and shit. That's the best is when you've waited and like yeah. and you and, get and all and the you shit. get everything yeah. you, and then you just don't realize that wasn't even the whole game. Yeah. You just then, think that was the whole game. Yeah, I was like, wow, this one actually feels hard. complete. Yeah. yeah. That happened to me on like, a few different games. Uh-huh. Well, I hate the map packs thing because it's like, usually when you get them, it's like, this map sucks. <laughs> like, yeah. That was one of the it's three. Like, these, like, <laughs> one of the, it's like, cauldron. And you're just like sitting there, it's like, not, it's like two areas. Like, why did I pay for the cauldron? <laughs> you know, I just want something fresh. For this. Just, I think they should just, if you're going to have DLCs, just fucking have them right away. Yeah. Like, people can buy them or don't buy them. Like, it's going to be the same thing. Yeah. Just fuck. I mean, I, I'm more willing to do. I'm more willing to do that. I mean, fuck it. If you, if you, because they're gonna need to make their money. They're never gonna like stop doing it. So fuck it. But just have it there. Because you know, sometimes they do have it. Game comes out and there's already a DLC there. That's such bullshit. It, it's bullshit. But I prefer that over me trying to play it fucking three months later when I'm I'm over the game. Yeah. I guess, but like the, just the principle. Because you, if it's fucking done, <laughs> like put it in the fucking game, assholes. Like that's just my. I get mad at that because yeah, that's true. It's like they did that with like Mass Effect. Remember the the um, Mass Effect Three, the Prosian DLC. That was like a big like that character was a big part of the story, yeah, like a Prosian, yeah. and he was a DLC. If you didn't buy, if you didn't buy it like day one, the special edition, you had to pay like ten bucks just to get this guy. Wow, it was like such a ripoff. But he was done with the game. <laughs> that's so stupid. That's yeah. like that's when they made the game. Then they cut out. Like half chat has oh hashtag fuck DLC yeah. yeah did you play done. the the Witcher yeah the Witcher three I liked the Witcher three you played the Witcher three did I haven't yet but their their DLC their DLC that they just released is supposed to be like a whole new game yeah well that's that's and one of those so, ones that's like I was just curious if that's one of those ones that you think is worth it I I need to check it well, out. well I think it would be worth it if I had if I was. If I was younger and I had the gameplay time, Got that time, because Witcher Three is one of those games like you, like I could spend my life in there, and I'll never complete everything, even in the original yeah, yeah it's game, fucking huge. which is great, which is super cool, but um, yeah. that's why I missed it actually. So like that's why sometimes in games like that, like yeah, we're releasing a DLC, I'm like that's great, but <laughs> I'm not gonna play it. I don't have, I can't do this. <laughs> I mean. I, yeah, but yes, I think that is a game that does benefit from DLCs because, like, usually they release them, and it's like a whole other fucking game. Like, like I mean, uh, that's cool. Fallout's I, I like that. that. Any any Fallout DLC is always awesome because it's always like a total. But it's like, but it's like in the same thing. But those are all like Fallout DLCs are always great, and um, like Skyrim's DLCs were fine. Oh, they were stuff, fucking great. You know? But those are ones that always benefit too. Like if you wait and get the game once all the DLCs are out, those are always way better. Because oh, yeah. then like. You just get the whole world like right from the beginning. Of, yeah, that's the best. So. Yeah. So we uh, gotta move wait. On to Game of Thrones. Yeah, let's move on to Game of Thrones. Right, so, so we're moving on to Game of Thrones. Uh, I want to start out here. The last, I said three or two episodes have been very disappointing. Yes, I agree. A lot of f- fucking filler. Yeah. Um, but there's only two left, so let's not do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's get down to brass tacks. Uh, brass tacks. As we say, I mean, because the last episode, I mean, what the fuck happened? Blackfish. A lot of stories got tied up uh, unsatisfactorily. Yeah. yeah, I mean, so the big one, I guess, was Arya getting chased down by the the Terminator Two, <laughs> and then. So uh, nice. And then I guess she won because the Terminator's face was on a wall, but we didn't get to see that. Yeah. So stupid. I really so wanted to stupid. see So stupid. I'm tired of these off-screen deaths. I yeah. think the show used to be so great. That's what I asked for in the in I think the last podcast was I really wanted to see that fight. I know. In the I dark. Know. And they were like, oh, no, you don't get to see that. Yeah. And it was yeah. like the stab. Well, what I, what I don't get is like, I will, okay, I, I, you can bypass like me showing the mountain rip some dude's head off. And show me, show Arya kill that girl. Like you could have like fucking the mountain rip that guy's head off off screen because like we know that guy. Who f- fucking cares about that guy? And we know the mountain can rip heads off. But I need to see that fucking girl get fucking stabbed. Yeah. Like multiple fucking times. Yeah, so she's I, sp- been I spent a bitch a- for many times. Yes. Like many many hours of every Sunday of just seeing her just staring, being a bitch. 
And then now we didn't get any. Plus, it was like her face up there, but it was kind of like. It didn't really look like her. It wasn't even like that recognizable. So it was kind of like, yeah, I know what you're trying to tell me, but it was like, I was, I'm, I would have been more satisfied with a head. Yeah. Because then I know for sure it's her head. It's her stupid little haircut. Do you know, though? Because these are like the faceless guys. You pull their head back and it's a different guy. Last season they killed Jockin and then he pulled the head back and it wasn't Jockin. That's exactly like why I and this is another thing is like I don't know how badass of an assassin Ari is. Maybe in the dark she got a lucky stab in. I yeah. want to know that she's like fucking. Under, well, I, I, want, I want to know yeah. how bad she is. Well, I also didn't understand because I think that whole part was confusing of like how hurt is she? Is she not hurt? Because then, then she's all she's yeah, all fucking hurt stupid. and then she like stands up and like. As yeah. if she's fine. Was she, she like pretending? She's setting the trap. Be... She's obviously dr- How drawing the blood. How is she fine to do all that shit? Like, <laughs> she like... got the she got the Rob Stark's wife stab. Yeah. And she's fucking fine. And she got stitched by the actress who's like, hey, I stitched some drunk guys that I blew or something. Now I'm dead. Really, she said. Yeah. yeah. She got a horrible death. Now that I that I blew. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is that yeah. what she said? Like, no. Oh, whatever. <laughs> uh, um, and then after that, then Arya's like, run for life, and shit opens up, and but she's still like, she's like, I'm still fine. I don't know. Like, I feel like seemingly breaks her leg on one of those fucking jumps. Yeah. yeah. I love Arya. I, like, I love that character. But this storyline was very disappointing. Like, if this is where it just built up and now she's going back to Westeros. Where it's like, oh, so we just needed her to be a little better with combat. I, I believe that. It's fucking stupid. Man. After the end of The Hound, that she was good. I mean. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I, I was like, this whole this whole story was fucking pointless. I don't know about the whole story. was. Pointless. I think the whole story was pointless. <laughs> I know you do. You've said it twice now. You need to get those assassins and skills. louder. But where are they? I mean, I don't. What's their level? No, but I thought they were good when she fucked up Mara and Tran. I thought at that point I was like, right. they're good. She's good. Yeah, She's guess, all good now. We don't need four more episodes. Like that, that, four more. I can accept the Mara. I was good at the Mara and Tran thing. I wasn't good at the fucking Helm thing. I mean, no, that was anyone can kill Mara and Tran. But so so <laughs> so when yeah even serial for real um but serial for real he's <laughs> fucking alive apparently not but um he's so alive but so the hound thing where she was going to Bravos was the end of season four right uh-huh. so we've had one full season and almost the end of the season of her what getting. Like her storyline's like, hey, here's a stupid like waif, which is a dumb name. A girl doesn't have a name. name. Yeah, that, like, no, and a girl has a name. We got, we're cool with it. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like every time we see her, it's just like, hey, let's just get the shit kicked out of you when you're blind. That's like, how many episodes of that do we yeah. need? To it's like, I didn't need that many. Yeah, episodes. Oysters and cockles. Oysters, cockles, and cockles. <laughs> oh, I mean, how they were that? trying to follow the book storyline, <sighs> and the book is this. It's, it's just as bad of a book, the I box. think. It's, it's, what? How else is that story going to end except for her going back to West? I mean, the problem is, I guess it just didn't turn out that cool. But I, I, I do know, like when she was going, I thought the idea of her becoming an assassin sounded really cool. Yeah, because Arya is cool, and like, if she comes out of this as an assassin and she does cool assassin shit later, I can accept this fucking shit that she was doing yeah. here. But yes, I'm not going to say that I really enjoyed this part. Now, for some reason, I'm not as passionately hating it as Charles was because, like. <laughs> I was just kind of like, oh, whatever. It's just not that great of a storyline. But there's so much more show that I normally that I can usually like. Ah, eh. sometimes there's plot lines I don't I care, you know, less about. Right. But there's more stuff I care, you know, care for. Um, and that's kind of how this was. I wasn't hating it that much. I wasn't like Charles like, ah! <laughs> like it bummed me out because I, I liked I this, really liked Jack and Agar. And now he's kind of lame. And now huh? I think he sucks. Yeah. So yeah. It's like, eh. I mean, I just think this. La- I was like. Didn't care as much until this last part because just the execution was kind of confusing. Like, was she hurt? Was it all? Was she mm-hmm. always trying it's to be confusing. like? Was this just like an all on act the whole kind of time, or like what the fuck? And like, I also kind of thought the Terminator walk was kind of dumb yeah. too. Like, and all you're an assassin, time. fucking walk. Yeah. Like, why is she doing it? Why doesn't she be sneaky? Yeah. They never once showed them learning how to run at super speeds. Yeah. Did we need the, the fuck chase? Was that? Did we need the chase? No. Could she not have just in that moment where she killed the other girl? She could have just cut the candle. We didn't need the fucking chase where it's like, for some reason, when she's close, she's going to walk the Terminator, but then when she's far, she's fucking running. It's like, what's happening? Well, I also think, too, like, they did it a little bit so there was, like, some suspense. Like, oh, is Arya going to make it out? We kind of know Arya's going to make it out because if they were going to kill Arya, they just would have fucking killed her in the other episode when she got stabbed on the fucking bridge. There would have been never a reason to make her survive and then die the next episode by the same assassin. Like, oh, you made it this episode, but she got you in this one. It's like, we all knew she was going to fucking make it. Like, I was not sitting there going, like, oh, sorry, you're going to make it? Like, yeah. they would have killed her. The big kill would have been last episode, her getting fucking stabbed by the grandma. 
That would have been when they were going to do it. Yeah, I feel like I feel Arya's a hundred percent safe. You need to stop with the safe stuff. <laughs> like, She's safe. Nobody's safe. No Jon Snow's safe. dying tomorrow. No He's not dying. <laughs> like, no. He's dying. Battle I of the disagree. Bastards. <laughs> I, I think you're gonna be bummed out when like his head's off and like He's like lame. Ramsey's like using his head as a bowling ball. <laughs> like how that show does to you. If he does, I'll give my you. words. He's he might not win the battle, but he's not dying. There's no way. There's no way they bring him back just to kill him. Like, I, I agree with Ross. I don't think he's going to die either. But especially when he has such an important, like, hint to that story. He's obviously important enough to bring back. So why are you going to bring him back just to kill, have Ramsay kill him? I don't know. Why do they kill Ned Stark? I mean, it's like they just killed people. Yeah, but Ned Stark was like, he was like that fault. Like, yeah, now he seems killable because the show just kills people and keeps moving forward. But at the, but time, at the time, I was like, at the time, it literally was like, <laughs> What's the show about now? I I, like, did, I couldn't even make the concept. Even after the Red Wedding, I was like, "What? Are, okay, so the war's over." <laughs> yeah, that's the same thing. The Red Wedding happened. I was like, "What is this show well, about?" The thing, like, I'm like, so, so we're gonna focus on Tyrion. And I was like, "Why do I watch this?" And Tywin. What's yeah. So I mean, that show, it, the show does that. Just fucking out of nowhere, kill somebody. And it's like, oh, I guess we move on. I you know? I I know what you're saying. I just there's certain characters who seem safe to me. And Arya I, seems safe. Danny seems safe. Oberyn seems safe. No, he didn't. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was felt very killable. Not that way. I thought Cal Drago was safe. I thought Cal Drago was safe. I thought Cal Drago was safe. I thought he was safe. Yeah, but that... Die. No, I didn't think Cal Drago was safe, but that is at the time when but we... Now, did, we, we didn't know what the show now, was at that time. But now how they do it, yeah, obviously. Like, now Nobody's we probably... Safe. Now we would probably think Cal Drago was I don't know. Get cut. We're dealing with the Faith Militant right now because every other important storyline got killed off. So now we're like just like, well, we have to do something stupid. Yeah. God, how they tra- they canceled Trial by Combat. Uh, that was so was like, like, uh, We won't uh, see the Clagan Ball or whatever. That was, Something's got to happen because he's back. I hope so. so. Something's That's the thing. If, if he doesn't fight the Mountain, why did he come back? I like the Hound. Um, you know, and it's like I'm fine with him being back. But like, why is he back though? Why is he back if he's not going to fight the Mountain? Like he. Could have been dead. I mean, because like, sometimes there's like, it's like when you bring a show back. Sometimes like characters are great when they were on the show, and then they're gone and they come back. And it's like, yeah, it's just, it, when he came back, it was never really quite the same. <clears throat> like the old twenty four. You know why he's back? Old yeah, yeah. twenty four. He's back to show us his dick. What the fuck? Yeah, we saw. I missed the dick. I missed it too. Yeah, we, we have a glary TV. We missed the dick. <laughs> I, I saw it on that ninety six inch screen on fucking. I old saw theater. him go to the river and take a piss, but I didn't see. I thought they just kind of like. Oh, oh it, it was Dick oh, Bowl twenty sixteen. Yeah, pulled yeah. out his dong. It went to his knees. <laughs> For no hey, fucking good, reason. Good for him. It was like <laughs> such a stupid part too. Like he gets up, pulls his dick out, pees. They show the pee hitting the water, like as if something's gonna happen. And then he walks away. I'm like, why did I see the whole they, fucking scene of a guy pissing? I think that might have been how they got um, Daenerys to show her boobs again. Because I think she was more like, well, if we're gonna show that, we need to see more dick. Yeah, maybe. I think. I don't know. Yeah, usually the show does pretty even. Like you see a dog and you see some boobs. Or Spo- yeah. yeah, spoiler deep here. Um, I because I thought what the scene was gonna be was like all of a sudden like Lady. Stoneheart. Um, Lady was Stoneheart was gonna show up, but I thought I thought he was gonna be peeing on Lady Stoneheart. I actually, yeah, it was, uh, yeah. They're, they've said it. I hope that doesn't happen. It, it was that was a very Stoneheart scene. It was very. But then they didn't Stoneheart it, but, so but they could still Stoneheart. It. They, if they <laughs> I that. I'm not sure why. I mean, I don't care. They can Stoneheart it up. I don't want to see Stoneheart now. I can. They can Stoneheart it up. I don't give a fuck. They might do Sansa. They can Stoneheart her. Sansa Stoneheart. <laughs> Sansa Stoneheart. So like she. Say dies in the master role. Like, I have a feeling Sansa's Bastard is not going to make it. I have a feeling Sansa's going to die. Yeah. Uh, she's not uh, safe. Yeah, I've said that before. That's why they were making her likable. I yeah. think Sansa's safe. Cause I, think, was, I think Sansa's one of the most Because when she was a total... No. You don't rape right. somebody and then she fucking dies, kill her. Her entire storyline has been tragic. I feel Sansa... The only ones I think are not... I love Rob's theories. I, I think Tyrion, 100% safe. Arya, 100% safe. Danny might die at the end, maybe. I think they're all safe until the end. They're yeah. all safe. Like, yeah. Not all of them. I mean, like, people you're naming, I think, like, Tyrion, Danny, Jon Snow are probably all safe until the end. Nobody's safe in the fucking end of this show. Yeah. Well, Danny knew. Better be safe. I will say. I will say <laughs> I <agree>. Tyrion. <laughs> Tyrion and Arya, I'm going to say, are at the end even safe. I don't know. Man, Tyrion might go in the end. I swear I to God, so. if we dealt with Danny and Essos for nothing, <laughs> for all of this shit, and no, she if she does not make her way to Westeros... Can you imagine she never comes? I oh my God. It. We know she does. She, well, she just we decides, don't know who she does. She just decides to build a, a kingdom oh, in Essos. Oh, because of the... And that's it? That's where she... <laughs> what if she just becomes the queen of Essos? She's going to Westeros, though. 
She what sucks. if she doesn't? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Danny's a, an end game dad. Charles has something to say here. What? Oh, I thought you were going to say that. No, you have something. You were raising your hand for him. <laughs> well, because I know you got my point. Uh, yeah, so yeah, the, we know, well, I guess we don't know for sure. It could have been a flashback or something, but we see Bran fucking in his little trans thing. The when shadow. Sees the Mad King. Yeah, the shadow of the dragon going over Westeros. I guess it could have been before. I think like, that is, I, yeah, I guess it could be It before, could have been a flashback like in the past. Or it could be thing in the future. That's a Danny good point. Because it could, it, could it could be, yeah, but I don't think, even, but I think with Aegon the Conqueror, Came. I'm not sure. Like King's Landing was like what it is. Yeah, that's a thing. I, so I do think it's supposed to be foreshadowing of Danny's dragons flying into. Well, King's has Landing. Bran seen the future yet, or has he only been seeing the past? Um, <laughs> I don't know, Rob. I, mean, I have a hard time with those fucking he's, when they do the flashes all fast. He's been like seeing that. the past. Uh, it's it's kind of like it's Danny. <laughs> Danny has to come to Westeros because the whole. The series is called A Song of Ice and Fire. Yeah. And it's all been building up towards dragons versus white walkers. Like, there's no way that's not going to happen. Right. So, whether or not she lives at the end or not, I don't know. But she's definitely going to make it to the end. Did we talk about this on the podcast? That, like, um, the people think that maybe Bran, like, is the reason why the Mad King was mad? Is that maybe he, like... I, I brought that up. Oh, I really? Heard, and, like, maybe that's theory. why he was, like... I had, a, I had a theory that, like, the reason he went to being, like... Like, because, like, when you see... Bran was kind of, like, having, like, a bunch of flashbacks, and you see the Mad King. Being, yeah. Burn them, burn them all! Like, there's a theory that's how it was kind of, like, with Hodor. It's like, hold the door, hold the door! And he's, like, freaking out. Mm-hmm. So maybe it was, like, like something like Bran had dragons and was like, burn them, burn all the White Walkers, burn them all, or some shit. And because he was warged into dragons, somehow the Targaryen, whatever, mm-hmm. and then he was freaking out, being like, burn them, burn them all! And so it was just... Then oh. Jamie's just like... Fuck you! It's all Bran's fault. Yeah, but he was mad before that, though. Yeah, that's the only thing, is he was supposedly mad before that. Way mad. Yeah. But I'm just saying it's a theory. And it's like, like, why would that have been a flashback that he had? I think think it's just because they're trying to tell us. Yeah, they're trying to show stuff from the books that they didn't show him. Yeah, they're trying to get, like, (laughs) uh, like people who only watch the show to understand, actually, what the Targaryen stuff was. Yeah. I have a theory. What if all those like flashbacks he was seeing and stuff, and like uh, what we just talked about, the dragon going over Westeros. What if that was him warged into the dragon, Should flying be. over Westeros? I think he's gonna warg yeah. into the dragon. That's yeah. probably still one of Danny's dragons. Right? No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But like he warged into it. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. I came up with a theory. Nice. Um, <laughs> Let's, nice. let's, let's note that that's a theory we've mentioned on three previous <laughs> podcasts. Is it really? I brought the point up that that's a well-known theory, but I, I was just going to well, give it to him. No, I, I was no, going to give it to him, too. Rob, Rob has brought it up at least three times. No, I know that he was... No, the theory that he's going to work in a dragon, I've known that for the longest time, but the fact that that, that we flash saw was him working. Yeah, that's that's what my point is. Like, what I if that you. was him worked into the okay. dragon? I'm gonna no, I'm not going to pretend to take care take take credit for that theory. Gotcha. I've heard that yeah. all the time. Okay, I would I watch it. <laughs> but I like you guys like so. I, good job, Charles. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> and he flies over Tatooine. <laughs> <laughs> Two sons. Uh, Two sons. Uh, can we get back to like how disappointing it really is that there's no trial by combat? Yeah, God it damn it! Is. I was like, waiting. what the fuck? I, I was in Cersei's body at that time. I was just like, what? <laughs> no! I still think she's just gonna Tommen? be like, rip Tommen's head off. Tommen needs to go. Tommen he needs. To, he's he's next. He's yeah. going. Tommen he's needs to, to go. be flayed. I just want everybody to get flayed by Ramsay. I want him staying in power. He's just like the guy. If someone like fucks up. So you send him to the wall. You send him to Ramsay. They get flayed. They're out there. It's like, X in the field. Look at Charles Bolton over there. You're gonna, you're gonna <laughs> I get that great joy. I'm pretty bummed that the mountain <laughs> didn't finish off the rest <laughs> of those faith militants. He just took the one out. I thought he was going to take all the fucking faith mil- There's They're going <laughs> the down. They're, they got to go down. down. So there's no trial by combat, but I still think there's going to be combat. Yeah, but for some reason, it's always so cool about the trial by combat. Like the the arena oh, fight. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I agree with that. But I mean, like that's you know. I guess when I was thinking done. about it later on, though, I was kind of a little bit like, well, they like seem to do trial by combat all the time. All the time that's their get out. Of yeah, so it's kind of like. No, it made about. sense. But this one was gonna it be sucked. <laughs> no, but this one was gonna be cool because like, <laughs> we all thought like that. Yeah, she's got the hound. It should be a sure win. And then like if, yeah, the if, if the if the mountain or if the hound came in and killed the mountain, like that'd be like fuck yeah. Yeah, you know, because last trial by combat was very disappointing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. I don't want it to happen now because that means the hounds for the faith militant. 
Yeah, no. Ooh, so yeah. that sucks. Because I know, the and you want then you want him to lose because you don't want the faith militant. It's a weird. That'd be a weird thing. That's very Game of Thronesy. There could be a rise within the faith militant that got rid of the High Sparrow because the High Sparrows. No, they all suck. I get that, but he suck. he controls them. If they were to get the uh, Patchy, who's the Patchy guy for the Brotherhood without Banners? Oh, uh, Derek Dondarrion. Yeah. Dondarrion. Maybe he'd be a cooler leader. Of that, but even I mean, though he's a different god, yeah, I think, I mean, that's, that's the Lord of Light. But yeah. Well, yeah, it is the Lord of Light. I, was, right. I just realized that as I was saying, I was like, yes, yeah, so different that cult. The Lord of Light. How are they <laughs> going to connect the hounds? <laughs> See, I don't think it's even going to happen. So yeah, yeah, so maybe that's. I don't why. think it's even going to happen. Once the once you have the, the the hound with some like religious group before, yeah, but now he's with the Brotherhood. Yeah, but he could I be. thought that was like a branch of the brotherhood. And that guy, oh, that yeah. guy was, or I mean, not the that guy was open to anything. He was just open to peace. No, I know, but I yeah. kind of thought because if he sees the other faith, he might be like, oh, the other, I got to do it for Yeah, that but he ain't got to swallow that bullshit. I don't think so, yeah. Well, yeah, that ain't, yeah. Yeah. They're obviously going in a different direction. If, he's, if he end up with the, the brotherhood without banners, I mean, it's something completely, I mean, it, it I seems like, like Lady Stoneheart. I mean, it really does seem like Lady Stoneheart. Because really that's don't. the only reason the brother, the Brotherhood of Banners are back it in. It seems like that, but that was their thing. Like for me, it like, wouldn't make sense to, 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 to be hell. like, let's just bring back Catelyn right now. Like, like really as far as like the Brotherhood's the, mentality goes, why would they just be like, you know what? Well, they in the been dead for years too. Well, I don't, but the, I don't think the sh- I don't think the universe. I don't think the universe has been years. I think yeah, it's no, no, it's been years. Fuck me then. Yeah, because uh, Edmure. Edmure yeah. Yeah, they say he's been in prison for years. For years. They, oh. they literally say years. Who's? Well, fuck me then. He's the guy that was captured. Uh, By the way, the fucking Blackfish. Uh, oh my oh god. Oh my god, yeah. dude. Like, why even have him make an appearance again? Like, it's like it's one of those things where it's like, ooh, he escaped. He escaped, so you think he's going to have some sort of important part. Like, what? Well, at least we got the Blackfish to like kind of come back and get revenge. And his whole story was just standing on a thing and then not being in charge of his people. And then like, you know what? I could go with you and Brienne and, and help with this other cause and be cool, part of a cool battle, <laughs> but no, I'm gonna go die off screen by <laughs> Lannister men for just cause. That's I'm yeah, old. it was really. It's like come on, that's that was we brought you back to fucking suck. Now they, I don't like the Blackfish. And I they built him. they built up the Blackfish too. And that being They'd shitty, be doing that with the Hound. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the Blackfish, I feel, I feel like the Blackfish was only brought back because he was in the books. Like, because that was a big plot in the book. Like, oh, you gotta do River Run. Because obviously they didn't have fucking plans for it. And, and they need to stop with the off-screen deaths. That's pissing me off. Dude. It's fucking... Because especially in a show like this, which I've ranted this on the group, but I want it officially on the podcast. Um, you brought back the Hound. We didn't see the Hound die. Uh, you brought back Jon Snow. He actually died. So when you have, like, a show <laughs> where people are coming back to life and, you know, dying off-screen... You know, I'm not even sure Stannis... I need a Stannis body. <laughs> I need a Stannis body. How can you not show the death of Stannis? He was a major character. And yeah. you fucking don't show it? Come on now. Yeah, like, the Stannis death is... That's like that's the hardest one. The ones. And it's yeah. like, you know, it's like he probably is dead because Brienne's such like a, you know... <laughs> Brienne's such a bitch. She's such a, an honor-bound whatever. She wouldn't let him live. But it's like, why not show it? Show... You cut away like you didn't kill him. And... Then the blackfish off screen, like oh, blackfish is dead. Yeah, no, it's like fucking sucked. Cool, is he though? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, is the wave dead? <laughs> is Arya, Arya the wave? She's wearing Arya's face, right. and that's like Arya's right. head up there. Yeah. Who knows? Is Jack in the wave? Probably. <laughs> it's funny as like we were as we were bitching about it. I was like re redoing the scene in my head. I was like, yeah, you know what? They should have let Arya die on the bridge. Then the old lady rips off her head, and, and that's Arya. And then the the Arya that's dead is the waif. <laughs> Game of Thrones, do you? Yeah, Game of Thrones, do you? I was hope there was a theory. I would have shown how good an assassin she was. There was a theory that I really liked that people had, um, that Arya was actually, or the the old lady was actually Jockin. And like she was, t- he was testing the wave because remember how he's like, don't make her suffer. But clearly, the wave had it out for Arya and was gonna make her suffer. So like, it was her test, but they didn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> but uh, right. there was a lot of theories that they didn't do with that. 
I think here we'll just in closing thoughts we'll just talk about next week's episode and then we'll get out of here. Or, or tomorrow's or tomorrow, episode. Or tomorrow's sorry, tomorrow's episode. Saturday. It's still next hey. week. It's still next week. <laughs> <laughs> Today's yeah. Saturday, tomorrow's Sunday, and then it'll be in the week. Um, Fortnite from then. <laughs> so I mean I think these next two episodes have to be I hope so, man. super good, right? I mean well, this... or at least they have shit has to happen. The only thing that sucks about this next one, in my opinion, is I think it's just going to be strictly the battle between the bastards. No other story parts. Yeah, that might be cool, though, because I remember... It might be cool. That wall episode was like... when The one wall episode was one of the fucking best episodes in Game of Thrones. Something it like is that. good, but they don't progress any other story. Yeah, but then you get a full episode of, of closing everybody else's shit. And probably get it's no like, Jon Snow. It's like two season finales. Yeah, it's like two I, season yeah. finales. That's all I was like. That oh. might be fucking cool. That's why I like Nan- episode nine so much every time. Yeah. Okay. So... I I'm ready right for the Bastard Bowl. I'm on Ramsey Bolton's side. Such an idiot. <laughs> Flay Jon Snow. Yeah. No, of so, course I hope they get Snow. fucking Winterfell back. It's like, fuck yeah, off, Ramsey. Rick on. See what happens with Rick on. Something just oh, doesn't dude, seem yeah, like... Dude, what's yeah. up with Rick on? Uh, you guys think he's going to die? I think no. he's already flayed. No, I think, I think, I think the first thing you're going to see is him on a stick. For, and they're going to be like, oh, Bastard Bolton wins. They throw him in the center and kill Rick on. That's how they're going to start the battle. I think he'd already been dead. That's how they're going to start the battle. He might already be dead. We haven't seen him since. Um, I just for some shit ass reason, I think that maybe Jon Snow's a cyber woman, but for some fucking weird reason, I feel like like somehow Ramsey's not gonna die, and it's fucking bothering me. And that's probably just because I want it so bad, so that I just feel like it's not they're not gonna give it to me. But that's I need I, I don't even totally care if it's even that bad. I just need his body dead. Like it just if they do it off screen, I'm quitting the show. <laughs> that's what I was gonna say. Off screen death for Ramsey Bolton. That's what's gonna be. I'm not quitting the show, but. It would be obnoxious, but however, they are bringing a lot more villains into it, so I think it's, it could be Ramsey. Salty Dick, go. Salty, salty, dick. Salty, salty, salty Dick, dick the Stupid Masters, the Faith Militant, uh-huh. the White Walkers. We still have a lot of people that suck. Salty um, dick. So good I think, old Salty Dick. <laughs> yeah, they got the Greyjoys set up to fight the Masters too, because they brought the fleet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's be I awesome. was so I bummed when happen. the Masters were coming in. I thought that was the fleet. I was like, no. I thought it was the fleet too. Yeah, and which would like, put oh. them on Danny's side, right? Which is weird. Picturing Theon on Danny's, that's crazy. Yeah. Well, she's got a lot of dicks chopped off people on her side. So. <laughs> it's like her thing. Yeah, it's it's like, you're winning. You're one of us. <laughs> Dude, if that happens, I'm on selling. Dude, for real, if that happens, like, what the fuck? It's like, like Grey Worms, his dickless mentor. Like, yeah, you don't like, have to let it get you down, bro. I like ladies. Yeah. Right. I no, don't know what to they, do. They're not gonna trust him. He's gonna take his pants off. He's like, you're on selling. And then he's it. So, yeah. well, Var- Varys left, huh? Yeah. He's Did like, you yeah. what? Varys. Well, in, spoilers for the book. Remember, in the book, he kills. Uh, Pycelle and Kevin. I know, it was such a bummer when it didn't happen in the show. I was, like, I was oh, waiting for Pycelle. That's probably what he's going to do. I hate Pycelle. Who's Pycelle? A stupid old maester in the oh, King's God. Landing. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> <He's faking. laughs> It looked like a death knock <laughs> that he was doing, though. Like, oh, I was like, oh, they're going to they're gonna kill Varys right now. Because no, yeah. it was just, he had like that glow around him and he was just like walking alone. I was like, they're going to drop a rock. I, I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> drop a rock right now. if he magically shows up at King's Landing and kills like Pi. Like he's guys. gonna teleport. Pycel. Yeah, okay. Pycel and uh, Kevin, who's the Kevin Lannister. Kevin Lannister. He just comes back and just kills Pycel. Like his whole story. <laughs> Whatever's whatever going on with the Masters, just <laughs> this guy had to die. <laughs> well, in, in the books, the reason he does it is because they're offering good counsel and they're in charge. And he wants Cersei in power because Cersei's like fucking everything up. And he his secret mission is to get like the Targaryens back in power. So he wants King's Landing in disarray. So he's yeah. like, I can't have you alive because you're making things too like orderly. All right. right. Well, yeah. I think that's it for today. Yeah. Um, next Fortnite we should be post finale, so we'll have a lot of game room. Will going. we be post? Or I we'll, don't think. We'll I think that day will be the finale day. day. Yeah. Oh, finale. Oh, unless wait, we do no. it after that. No, we'll be post. No, we will be post. Post. Because next week. Because next week is the last episode. And then mm-hmm. we do the podcast. Oh, yeah, oh, you're yeah, right. You're right. right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Unless they do one of those yeah. uh, two week break things to fuck us. I don't, I don't they, think so. I think it's all the schedule. I think. And they haven't done that at all this okay. season, which has been fantastic. It has been. <laughs> like, it has been. Fortnite 5. Oh. Then we wait a year. Time will tell. <laughs> time <laughs> will tell. Uh, and Twin Peaks next time. Yes. Yeah. See you in a fortnight. <laughs> Bookhouse boys, Bookhouse boys. <laughs> Twin Peaks crew. Uh, what are you doing this weekend? 